signed your contract yesterday. How, what, did, what was your, did you have like a pregame meal like yesterday? Fancy, <laughs> anything fancy done? No, I didn't. I had to come in here and get ready for uh, a conditioning test. <laughs> That's it. How frustrating is it to, to not be able to, to jump right out there and practice right off again? Uh, you know, for any athlete, you know, when this is your job and this is what your whole your whole uh, motivation is, you know, it's really frustrating to be out, not be out there and watch you guys go. But you know, I understand that my health is the main concern right now, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. Yeah, when did when did you learn you were gonna be on the NFI list? Did you know this a couple of days ago or just this morning? Or uh, you know, I, I I knew a couple of days ago, but uh, you know, it's it's just something you know that coaching uh had coaching the uh, the people in the in the training room, you know, decided it was the best for me. So, when do you think you'll be out there? Have you, uh, do you have any? Uh, you know, right now, you know, I, the main thing for me is, you know, is to take care of my body, you know, make sure I'm healthy. So when I get out there, I'm able to help the team, you know, that because that's what I want to do. I want to be be able to help these guys, and you know, I can't do it if I'm not 100. percent So, you know, I'm gonna take care of my body and make sure I'm ready to go. And this is due to the shoulder, correct? It is. Okay. Yeah, how, how tough is it after missing uh, all the OTAs, all the all, all that stuff, and then? Having this delay to the start of, of, of what you like to be going out here, I, it is it's frustrating. But you know, for me, to, like I said, the main thing is for me to be healthy so I can get out here and help my guys, and you know, just do whatever I have to do to make sure we have a successful season. How important? And, uh, you know, it's just I just had to make sure I took the proper steps, and uh, like I said, the people in the in the training room and, and the coach uh, coaches have the, uh, the best interest in mind for me, so I'm gonna listen to them and do what I have to do to get ready. How hard is it to be patient, knowing that? People have such high expectations for you, and you do for yourself. Uh, you know, it, it's something that I'm learning real fast. Patience, you know, especially being young and stepping into uh, the road that I am now. But it, it's, it's something I'm going to have to, you know, like I said, I'm going to have to learn, you know. So I'm going to be patient as I have to, you know. But at the same time, I, ha I have to understand what the situation is, and you know, I'm going to have to do whatever I got to do to make sure I'm ready to go for this season to help my guys. Is there any idea when the goal of Potentially in your mind, when you'll be back, you have a. I know, nah, man. You obviously you gotta talk to coach about uh, when they'll be ready to throw me out there. What do you yeah, expect what from yourself this rookie year? Uh, just do whatever I have to do to help this team. You know, we have uh, high expectations and high goals, not only for myself, but for this, for the defensive side, for the offensive side, and also for the special teams. So, you know, as a unit. And, and as, a t as a team, you know, we understand that we have to really uh, exceed our own expectations so we can get out there and, and have a better season than last. Any veterans helping you out? Excuse me? Any veterans helping you out? Oh, all the guys, you know, uh, for me, you know, I'm, all I can do really right now is watch and listen, you know, so I'm going to open my ears, and open my eyes, and, you know, just soak everything in so when it's time to go, I'll be ready. What were you able to learn out there today? Just being able to watch.